Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. Today, CyberLink is releasing version 18 of their Windows-only PowerDirector video editing program. What new features does PowerDirector 18 offer? Is it worth an upgrade from an earlier version? Watch and find out. If you're looking for an inexpensive, easy-to-use, powerful video editing program, or you're an existing user of PowerDirector, you're in luck. PowerDirector version 18 is being released today, September 17, 2019. So what's new in PowerDirector version 18? Well, as usual, there are two levels of the program, Ultra and Ultimate. If you watched my recent video discussing which one you should buy, you know that in previous versions there wasn't much of a difference between the two. Ultimate was more expensive than Ultra, but it came with extra transitions, picture-in-picture -picture objects, and other add-ons. In that episode, I said that most people should save a little money and buy the Ultra version since the extras in Ultimate weren't really worth spending money for. I think this has changed with PowerDirector 18. There are some distinct differences now between PowerDirector 18 Ultra and Ultimate. Ultra meets the needs of most YouTube video editors, for example. Ultimate has all the features that Ultra provides, with some additional bells and whistles that are pretty slick, along with more advanced video file type support to serve professional users. And the difference in price between Ultra and Ultimate is only 30 bucks, which makes it easy to go all in for the more advanced version. The first new feature is something I've wanted since I first tested the program. It addresses one of the only aspects of PowerDirector I've never liked. And in version 18, the situation is not just fixed. You have the choice to fix it if you'd like, or leave it unchanged from previous versions. Dumb as it may sound, the feature I'm most excited about in PowerDirector 18 is the ability to change the stacking order of the tracks in your timeline, or as CyberLink calls it, reversible timeline track order. Up until now, in PowerDirector, you would put your base video track at the top, and then, as you can see here, you would add additional tracks, like captions and titles, picture-in-picture, picture, things like that, below the top track. So, to show things on top of your existing content, you would insert it below the existing content. If you tried to put the title in a track above the base video track, as you see here, the video track covers the title, and you can't see it. This was completely counterintuitive and opposite of almost every other program that uses some form of layers or tracks. Now in version 18, you can pick the order of stacking for your projects, top to bottom or bottom to top, with a simple checkbox in your preferences menu. Watch as I start with the tracks ordered from top down. I go into the preferences menu for editing and choose the reverse timeline track order. You can see that the two tracks have swapped order. Now the title is above the video and it displays perfectly. I think it's great that CyberLink gave you the choice rather than just swapping the stacking order. People who own previous versions of PowerDirector may be used to the old stacking order and want to maintain the status quo. But for people like me who use other video and image editors and want the more logical stacking order, this is a terrific option to have. I know, it sounds silly to get all jazzed up about the option to change the stacking order, but this is really something that's annoyed me all along. This is one of those improvements that tells you CyberLink really listens to the feedback they get from their users. PowerDirector 17 saw the addition of a new feature called Nesting Projects, and PowerDirector 18 expands its capabilities. With this new feature, you can take an existing project and drop it into your new project's timeline. Well, why would you do that? Well, for example, if you have a standard closing for all your episodes, you can set up the closing as one episode and then just drop it into all the videos you create. You can nest existing project files in and use them as picture-in-picture -picture elements and embed them into scenes with keyframe control to scale, skew, rotate, and even set opacity. Another new feature in both versions of PowerDirector 18 is frame-by-frame -frame motion tracking. If you need to track an element in your video, you can now do it literally frame by frame. This granular control gives you 100% object tracking accuracy in your video clips. 
If you've watched many YouTube videos, you've seen something called a lower third, where a text and graphic element appears on screen to caption the image, like what you're seeing now. PowerDirector 18 now has a motion graphics option in their title room with an assortment of lower third animations and title graphics. Editing these animations is limited to changing the text, but you've got more than 40 different animations to choose from to give your video a more professional look. As you can see here, they're simple to add and update as well. Given how often Cyberlink releases updates to their program, I expect more of these motion graphics will be released in the future. What else is new? Chroma key functionality has been upgraded in PowerDirector 18. The chroma key engine itself has been improved, and the program now features multi-key color sampling to help you remove an unwanted background that might not be illuminated evenly, or even have more than one color. Do you shoot 360 degree video? If so, you know it can be shaky. PowerDirector 18 now includes 360 degree VR stabilization to help make your videos less jittery. PowerDirector 18 also features improvements to its processing engine to improve your editing and rendering performance, particularly if you have newer, more powerful computers. PowerDirector supports transcoding of non-full-frame video clips in a single timeline track and increases performance on 8-plus core processors with improved multi-threading. PowerDirector 18 now has a one-to-one, -one, or square, aspect ratio for your projects so you can produce content for Facebook and Instagram. The one-to-one -one format accompanies other popular formats, including 4-to-3, 16-to-9, 9-to-16 vertical format, and 360. Those are the main new features you'll see in the Ultra version of PowerDirector 18. If you spend 30 bucks more, you can get the Ultimate version, which includes all those features and several more. The coolest feature in PowerDirector 18 Ultimate is the new Shape Designer tool. PowerDirector includes dozens of shapes and picture-in-picture -picture objects that you can add to your project. Shape Design allows you to customize some of these vector shapes, changing colors and border thickness. Some of the objects have text boxes that automatically adjust font size as you resize the image. In some cases, the objects have elements that you can move around the image. This way you can make a text box appear to the right or the left of your video's subject, for example, or move the lines around to point at whatever spot on the screen you'd like. In versions 16 and 17 of PowerDirector, I avoided the picture-in-picture -picture elements because I thought they were cute but gimmicky. I saw them like I see embellishments in scrapbooks. They were well suited for family videos, but not for the types of video I create. With the new capabilities offered by Shape Designer and the addition of a useful shapes category of objects, I can see more opportunities for enhancing videos, product reviews, and a wide range of video projects. You can modify colors, border widths, and shadows, and even move some elements of the shape around so they fit your scene, making them legitimate graphical elements for use in any type of video. Another ultimate feature is audio scrubbing. In the preview window, you can search quickly through a clip visually by dragging through it. This is called scrubbing. Now, as you scrub a clip, you can not only see the fast scan of the video, but hear the audio scrub as well. This increases the value of the scrub capability to help you find the place in the video you need quickly. If you've got a computer with the horsepower to do it, PowerDirector 18 Ultimate allows you to set your preview window to play in Ultra 4K quality. A better quality preview is certainly easier to work with, but it does require a high-powered system. My computer, which is very good, wasn't up to this task when I tested 4K preview. So this feature may be something you can't use if your computer can't handle it. As I said before, PowerDirector 18 Ultimate is designed to support video producers with more professional needs. If you need an editor that supports 10-bit formats and offers camera support, Ultimate is your choice. Ultimate allows you to import and edit video shot on professional grade cameras and in HEVC, HDR10 and HLG, ProRes 422, MXF AVC 420 video compatibility, 
and MOV Apple ProRes 10-bit 422. Whew. And if you don't know what those things mean, you don't need them. So let's talk money. PowerDirector 18 Ultra costs 100 bucks. Ultimate costs 130 bucks. Surprisingly, that's the same price you would have paid for PowerDirector 17. So Cyberlink didn't increase the price for this upgraded version. If you compare those prices to Sony Vegas, which costs 400 to 600 dollars, you'll see the real value in this program. So who should buy PowerDirector 18? If you're a new user looking for a video editor, I think PowerDirector 18 is pretty much a no-brainer. I own Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere. I choose to use PowerDirector 18 because it's fast, easy to use, and provides most everything I need. So for someone who doesn't own a video editing program, it's really just a question of whether you want to buy Ultra or Ultimate. In a previous video, I said that most users should go with Ultra and save $30. I'm going to change that with PowerDirector 18. I think the new features, particularly the shape designer, makes the ultimate version worth a few extra bucks. Cyberlink has not yet confirmed this for me, but I'm confident that PowerDirector 18 will be available through the PowerDirector 365 subscription plan. If it is, that's a great option because you get new downloads of additional objects, audio files, and more every month, along with constant updates to the program. Obviously, I'm creating this video before the release date, so I can't check their website to make sure. But if you're watching this, their website should be updated, so you can follow the link in the description below and find out about 365. So that's for people who don't already own PowerDirector, but what about you existing PowerDirector users? If you're using PowerDirector 16 or earlier, I think it's time to upgrade. You'll enjoy the new features that have been incorporated into versions 17 and 18, and you'll get continued support with program updates. For PowerDirector 17 owners, it's a flip of the coin. If you don't mind spending a little for the upgrade, I think you'll enjoy the improvements. I'm looking forward to playing with the shape designer. I think this feature alone makes the picture-in-picture -picture objects much more valuable, and it's going to change the way I do some of my video production work. If you don't want to spend the money, PowerDirector 17 is still a great program. It's got 95% of what you get from PowerDirector 18, and for me it's been a remarkably stable program. So it just depends on whether or not those new features are worth the money to you. So that's the big news from Cyberlink. If you look in the description below, you'll find a list of the minimum system requirements. Again, this is a Windows only program. So you can make sure the program will work on your computer. You'll also find a link for purchasing the program in the description. I'm looking forward to working with PowerDirector 18. In fact, I'm going to use it to create the episode you're watching right now, along with the next drone video I release. Soon I'll publish a follow-up to tell you more about PowerDirector 18. When I publish that follow-up, I'll include a link to it here in the upper right corner. I'll also plan to do some more tutorials on things like how to use the picture-in-picture -picture animations and motion graphics. If you're not already a subscriber, click on the Cartoon Jeff in the lower right corner to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I publish those videos. Are you thinking of buying Cyberlink PowerDirector? If so, please use the link in the description below. Cyberlink will contribute to this channel and I'll keep making more tutorials to help you use it. If you appreciate the education you get from these tutorials, please support the channel by using that link. Remember, sharing is caring. If you would share this video on social media, I would really appreciate your help. On screen you'll find a link to the complete playlist of PowerDirector video editing tutorials, so please check them out. If you want more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.